Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Company up back with another Dokkan battle video and today I just want to have a quick little discussion or speculate about this new subscription feature that Kawhi teased on Twitter yesterday and at this point nobody really knows exactly what this new feature that's coming to Dokkan is going to look like but I do see that quite a few people are already upset about it which <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be too surprised about but what I wanted to do here in this video is kind of weigh in with my two cents and my opinions on what I think this new feature is going to look like and uh, you know just have a quick discussion like I said but before I get started before we get into it I want to be abundantly clear that everything I say in this video is going to be pure speculation I don't have any more information than you guys do right now and uh, all I'm going, you know, off of and what I'm basing my opinions on is my knowledge of, first of all, Dokkan as a game, but also other gacha games that are similar. And, uh, you know, just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there just in case I get everything wrong, which could be the case because, like I said, it's speculation. Just keep that in mind. But with that disclaimer out of the way, let's get into it. So basically last night, Kawhi said that, I don't know the exact details, but something in the game that said... Um, user subscription when connecting to the game and he thinks it's going to be something to do with player subscriptions and uh, we'll be able to subscribe to some kind of in-game subscription and probably paying for it um, but he doesn't know exactly what kind of subscription it's going to be and stuff like that so you know like I said it's all up in the air right now nobody really knows for sure um, what it's going to look like but what I think it's going to be is something that's very similar to a feature that a lot of gotcha games aside from Dokkan actually have had for a very long time and uh, one that's very close to Dokkan of course is Dragon Ball Legends and for those of you that play Dragon Ball Legends you're probably familiar with the what's it called uh, a Sistobot thing right in the store there's like a little robot and uh, basically what they do is when you pay for an Assistobot it will dispense to you a certain amount of Chrono Crystals or I think there's also one for skip tickets and over a period of time, right? So I think the example I saw was like X amount of Chrono Crystals over 30 days for like a thousand something crystals over 30 days for $8. So that's an example of, you know, one of these subscription features that uh, Legends has already. And there's a separate one, of course, for skip tickets. I don't know if there's like any other ones, but that's an example right there. And a lot of other games also have the same kind of feature for their in-game currency, especially the summoning currency. So you basically buy a package and uh, it will give you a set amount of currency over a set amount of days for a certain price. So that's pretty much what I think it's going to be. It's as simple as that. And of course, it is going to be a pay to play kind of thing. So you're going to have to be pay you have to pay real money, not in-game currency or, or maybe actually you know what like maybe there are gonna be certain packages that are purchased with some kind of in-game currency maybe like an item you can get for free but i kind of doubt it to be honest i really think it's just gonna be like a you know pay to play thing and if you guys are free to play you know players and you don't really spend any money on the game then you guys can kind of just ignore this video i guess because it's not really relevant to you it's not gonna affect you in any way but for people who are pay to play um, I think this could be interesting, especially just as a way to, well, yeah, I think specifically just as a way to save money on the game, because if you're already paying for in-game currency, this is, I mean, these packages, these subscription features generally are a discount from the actual in-game packs. So the example I gave you for Dragon Ball Legends with the Chrono Crystals, it was what, like $8 for, I think it was 1,000 or 1,200 Chrono Crystals over 30 days. So normally, I believe a pack of a thousand crystals not on sale is something like 15 to 20 dollars or i don't know you guys can let me know in the comments down below but i'm just like going off of what i remember from a while ago but it's a lot more expensive than what the assisto bot is the only difference of course with the assisto bot subscription feature is that you have to wait you know a long period of time to get the total amount of crystals but in the end you are paying a much lower price for the same amount of crystals that you would get um, compared to you know just buying the pack outright so i'm thinking it's going to be a similar feature to dokkan for dragon stones where you can get like 90 dragon stones over the course of 30 days so a month and it's going to cost you like i don't know 15 to 20 dollars and or maybe 
25, 30, I don't really know, but it's definitely gonna be a discount from the actual packs that we would mo normally pay for, right? And I know on paper that doesn't sound great, but you gotta you know, take into consideration that a 91 stone pack right now in Dokkan in US prices is $45. So if you can actually get 90 stones or 91 stones, uh, for I you know like twenty dollars, which is like half that price or less, then I think a lot of people would pay for it, and especially a lot of pay-to-play players like me, I would you know I'm I'm all for it. I'm totally totally down for it, and um, you know I think I mean I'm just kind of trying to think off the top of my head like if there are any other in-game items or currency that people would be willing to pay money for, and when it comes to Dokkan, I don't think there really is much else that would people would be like willing to pull out their wallets for. I think it's really just dragon stones. I mean, I guess potential orbs could be a thing, but at the same time, I think, you know, if, you, if you're a long-term player and if you're a pay-to-play player, um, you probably have enough orbs for most of the units that you want to rainbow or want to give orbs to. Um, I guess you could also do one for Kai's, maybe that's some kind of subscription service where you get you know, like three Kai's a day or, I don't know, one Kai a day of each type or something like that. I don't really know. The possibilities are kind of endless at this point, but I don't think anybody would be willing to pay real money for like friend points or Zenny or trading items, support items, stuff like that. So I think the furthest it could go, of course, is Dragonstone number one. Everybody would be willing to go for that if, you know, you are pay to play. Um, but then, you know, <laughs> you probably can get away with orbs, get away with Kai's, and that's all I can really think of at the moment. Maybe tickets too, maybe they can give us like some kind of, ooh, actually skip tickets would be nice. Yo, skip tickets is something I've been asking for in Dokkan for a long time, I know it's a bit of a tangent, but if they wanted to implement some kind of like skip ticket feature for events and then have a subscription for like skip tickets, I might go for that too. Um, but no, so going back to the tickets thing, I was actually thinking about like maybe a subscription thing where we get a set number of summoning tickets for a certain banner um, that we can summon on, which would be kind of cool as well. So like I said, there's so many possibilities out there. Um, I'll show you guys a few other tweets that Kawhi made about this subject. And here's some images here he has. So there is a box here and I'm assuming that, oh, actually there's an English one. Okay, so it says subscribed on the top and I'm assuming that this box would just contain like the various services that you're um, subscribed to. So maybe you have one for Dragonstones, you have one for uh, Orbs, one for Kai's, whatever it is. I think most people will only go for the, you know, Dragonstone one, but uh, I'm guessing they're leaving space because there are going to be multiple kinds of services you can uh, subscribe to and or packages rather. And there's also one that says subscription status. So, you know, under this, they might tell you um, how long maybe or like what percentage of your service or your package that you paid for has been used up already. And at the bottom here, it says sold out. So I'm guessing there's going to be, you know, a limited amount of times you can purchase each package before um, you can't buy it anymore. Or maybe it takes some time to reset, something like that. I'm not really sure. And he also has another image here with a obviously better looking graphic and you got some capsules on top but I don't think it's gonna be like actual capsules where it's just gonna be you know um, awakening medals or uh, training items or support items I believe this is just gonna be kind of the carrier for whatever resource that you're paying for so maybe a red capsule is dragon stones maybe a purple capsule is orbs and maybe a blue capsule is gonna be um, something else that I can't really think oh like Kai's or something like that I don't really know I don't really know there's there's so many possibilities out there but um, that's pretty much all I want to talk about in today's video guys just want to have a quick little discussion about the new, this new feature and let you guys know what I think it's gonna be and it's also kind of cool to have this video out there because once the feature actually comes out we can see how close or how far I was from the actual from like reality or like what the feature actually ends up being and uh, at this point nobody really knows when it's gonna come out something to look forward to I guess if you're a pay to play player pay to play player I can't say that if you're free to play then it doesn't really matter if you guys watch this video anyways then hope you guys find it interesting hope you guys find it um 
informative, I guess. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, oh, first of all, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this whole thing. If you think that I'm on point with this subscription feature, or do you think it's gonna be something different? And also whether or not you're happy that it's coming out, or are you angry about it and upset like some people out there that I've mentioned before. So um, anyways, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I really have to say. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one, I'm Tiger with Tiger of Cambodia, signing out.